Welcome back to N. Rajni Kiran, my YouTube channel. This video is going to project on procedural oriented approach. The main key element of this programming style or key element of a procedure programming paradigm is procedure. Now let me say what is a procedure. Procedure is a small program which is going to perform a specific task depending upon the program logic. In procedural programming, a large com program code is divided into group of small programs where we call those small programs as procedures or functions or subroutines. So when you look to the picture, there is a main program where this main program is divided into function 1, function 2, function 3, function 4, where these functions are termed as small programs which are going to perform a specific task and these functions can also be called as procedures, can also be called as subroutines in other programming languages and these procedures or functions or subroutines can flexibly use the global data in order to do their specific task. Few more points that I wanted to present about procedure oriented approach is these procedures or functions can access and also operate not only the local data but also the global data as we all know that this global data is shared by all these procedures or all these functions. Second one, there is no restriction in accessing the global data. That means these functions have unrestricted access to the global data. And the third advantage is n number of procedures or functions can be written in a single program and these functions or procedures can be called many times in the program code. And the approach that this procedure oriented programming is going to fall is top down approach. That means execution always starts at the top and it goes on one after the other in a sequential order. Moving to the limitations or disadvantages of a procedure oriented programming is one. This programming is not suitable for the large and complex projects. And second one, this programming is very difficult to represent the real world objects and the third one it is difficult to protect the data and fourth disadvantage or limitation is maintenance of the software that has been developed by using this programming paradigm is very difficult relatively difficult and mainly in this programming style the focus is uh, mainly on developing the functions or procedures but not on the data. That means the data doesn't get the attention in this procedure programming paradigm. Thank you for watching this video.